Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we teach you different ways that you can make money online working from home. In today's video, I want to show you how we can use ChatGPT to help us create and sell printables on Etsy. So the first thing I want to do is open up Etsy.com. And I just typed in fun printables. And you can see here, there are thousands of different printables that people are selling on Etsy. So I just typed in fun printables. And you can see there are over a 100,000 results. So of course we want to narrow it down a bit. Now, I'm going to put in Easter printables for kids games. And you can see here, these ones at the top are ones that have paid for ads. But if you scroll down, here are a bunch of different activities. And you can see that the most popular ones are bundles. So if we look at this one here, this is a bestseller. And this one is super simple. It's an outdoor Easter treasure hunt. And these printables are extremely easy to create. And I'm going to show you an example of something that we can do. So if we look here, this person has an Easter Mad Libs activity. And it's very basic, but very beautiful. So if you don't know what Mad Libs is, it's basically a story, and you take out a few words. So for example, in this activity, the teacher would ask the students on a piece of paper to write down one emotion, a number of verb, an adjective, and later you read out this really funny crazy story that you've created. Mad Libs are very popular in schools as an activity for teachers. So she's selling just one page, just one printable for two euro and seventy cents. And this is something we can create very easily with ChatGPT and Canva. Now, this woman has a very beautiful custom image. So you can see not only has she just put on the Mad Libs, she's decorated it for Easter. It looks very professional. Okay, so we're going to go over to ChatGPT. So I want to show you how we can create a printable like this. But before we get started, we can use ChatGPT for some ideas. I can say what are the most popular printables that are sold on Etsy. So you can see here planner pages, calendars, wall art, wedding invitations, and stationery, party decorations, coloring pages, and you can ask ChatGPT to give you even more ideas. Okay, now we're going to get ChatGPT to help us create this Mad Libs idea. First of all, I'm going to say create a funny Easter story about two children hunting for the Easter bunny who stole their pet bunny. Okay, I gave ChatGPT an actual story idea, but you could literally just say create a funny Easter story about two children or whatever. And ChatGPT right now is going to create this story for us. So ChatGPT has written the Easter story. But I wanted it to be a little shorter so we will fit on the page. So I said condense the story into four paragraphs. So now it's created our story. 
But now, I'm going to say create a Mad Libs activity with this story. And I'm going to paste the story. Then I'm going to say, take out 15 different words. And you can see that chat GPD has just put in a spot for the adjective, for the verb, for the adjective verb. So this is the full story, the original story. And this is the one with the Mad Libs activity. And actually, when you sell something like this, I think it's a great idea to include both the original story and also the Mad Libs story. So now what we're going to do is take our story, copy it, We're going to go to Canva, and Canva is totally free, and we're going to click create a design, and we're going to go custom size, and then here, change it to inches and put an 8.5 by 11 inches, and this is the standard paper size in North America, and then click create new design. So from here, you can go ahead and make it completely customize it by adding your own background color or whatever. But an easier way to do it is to go here to templates, type in Easter, enter, and they are going to find us a bunch of templates that are Easter related that we can use that are this size. So let's scroll down, find one that we like. Let's say this one here. So now it's just filled it in. So it's the size. And we're going to slide on this up here to zoom up and we can erase any information we don't need. So I'm going to erase all the text. We don't need that. And this little graphic I don't want. And we can make the title so we can put let's put the Easter Bunny. Mad Libs. And you can just adjust it like that. We can adjust the size. So you can see how this person has it with their border, Easter Mad Libs, and then their story. So now what we'll do is zoom out and we can move these bunnies. If we want to move them up here, we can erase them if we want. I'm going to make this a bit bigger, so we can put our story here. And we're going to go over to text. Click on add a heading or add a text box. And I'm going to paste in the story. First, I'm going to change the font to around maybe 14 and shall be to paste the story. So here we have our full story. But we want to make it look nicer than that, and I'll show you how to do it. So first, I'm going to erase some of these background images, so we have a bit more space. So now what we want to do is click here on spacing, and so we want to increase the space a bit. And we might want to reduce this size as well. And now what we want to do is replace all of these that say adjective verb with lines. Underneath, so the kids could write that. So we go like this, for example. And then what we'll want to do is click on text and click on this little bit of body of text there. And we're going to put an adjective. And what we'll do is we'll make this really small, maybe eight or nine. 
can even change the color to purple or something so it stands out. And this would just indicate that when the kids are playing this activity or whoever, they'd have to put an adjective here. So now we'll just go ahead and continue that for all of these. Okay. So once you've done that, you can go over here to elements and you can type in Easter. Let's say you wanted to take out the bunnies and add something else or add different bunnies. You've got all sorts of different options here. And another thing you can do is go here, click duplicate. And that will give you a second page. So this page, for example, could be your activity page. And the second page could be the original story. So you could just remove all of this and add in the original story that you got from ChatGPT. So that way the teacher could read that to the kids afterwards. For example, and when you're finished, to download our worksheet or our printable, we'll click Share, Download, and we're going to download it as a PDF standard. And you can say, include one page or all the pages, and then click Flatten PDF and that will make sure it prints properly. Then click Download. And here you go. Here we have our printable, which I think looks awesome. So from here you would go ahead create a digital listing on Etsy. So like this girl here, this is her digital listing. Easter Mad Libs printable. Easter game. Easter activity. You can see lots of different keywords. Here's her description. And what you can do is you can actually just go into chat GPD. We can actually say, write a listing for a digital product on Etsy. Selling this fun Easter Bunny Mad Libs activity for students. The product includes two worksheets, one PDF file. This is so great. Honestly, it's creating the entire ad for you even it even says this is a digital product. Only no physical item will be shipped is telling you that it's an instant digital download. I mean, this is so awesome. So you could copy and paste this, change it up and add that to Etsy as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and got a little bit inspired about the kinds of printables that you can get started creating with Canva and using ChatGPD. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. And click like if you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in my next tutorial.